Hey, Oliver. Hey, Jim. How are you? Doing good. Excellent. Me too. What's today? Today is May 25th. And what are we doing today? We are doing Skylanders Imaginators. So, can I do the voice? No. No? Okay. All right. So, do you want to do the voice? This is Super Saturday Spectacular Scavenger Stream for this week. Excellent, excellent. And look, Jeff is already here. Aiden's here. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Aiden. Hope you're Jeff's well. Like, uh, here today. we go. Here we go. It, with all those exclamation marks. So, how would you do that in the voice? I don't know. Do you want me to try? Let's try. Okay, I'll try. Here we go. How do you think that did? Not too bad. Not too bad. So we're switching over to the uh, the game. So you go up to scene collection. Yep, scene. there we go. And there we are. Yes, there. So people can see the uh, where we are. We're at the, um, what is this part of the game called? What what what's this part where ambush is standing? What's it called? It's by the dummies. Okay. And right there, mm -hmm. is is an airship. Right, but in um, in other so it's not Skylanders Academy. It's not Woodboro. It's the map. The map. Yes, indeed. And map stands for. M A P. <laughs> right. I didn't know if it was an acronym for something. So Aiden says that uh, he's moving to a new house uh, with his parents. That's wonderful. Uh, hope it is a, a, a fun move. Um, moving can, uh, can sometimes uh, mean a lot of work, but um, when you're in a new place, it, uh, it means that you get to do cool things, like maybe paint or decorate or stuff like that. Uh, and Jeff is uh, mentioning that uh, he's expecting new branding in six weeks. So cool things like a starting soon screen and a thanks for watching screen. All sorts of cool stuff. I wonder if there's a way to get that with Skylanders on it. Are you sure? Maybe. Uh, so uh, we're playing Imaginators tonight and it yep. was released in? 2016. Right? In October... In October uh, of 2016. Right. So, let's see. This year's 10th anniversary of Trap Team. Next year is... Um, Superchargers Anniversary. And then the year after that is... Imaginators 10 years of... 10 years right, anniversary. Right. So, we've got cake for the next three years planned. Right? For anniversaries? Yes. Okay. So, you're at the map. You've got Ambush on the portal. Um, Imaginators uh, is the game where you can create... Any character of your choice. Right. And when you create them, what are they called? Imaginators. Imaginators. Okay. And then we also have villains and senseis that we can play as. Now, the villains, are they all from Trap Team? Like these guys here. Yeah. Yeah, they were from some... They were all from Trap Team. Yeah. But Chaos, however... Right. He's been in all the games. Chaos has been in all of the he's games. He's like the only villain in Trap Team to appear in other games. Okay. All right. Oh, and we're going straight to an air crystal. You wanted to create a new air character. Yeah. So, you start with Hawkman. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're... St oh, and Anne is here. Hello, Anne. Um, uh, Aiden's going to get a new TV. That's wonderful. All right. So, All right. I have planned to make him bird theme. Bird theme. So, we're sticking with the fine feathered friends. Actually, I'm Persona? joking. You're How not? about... Going to create a bird? What else could be air themed besides the fact that there are birds? Uh, balloons. Balloons? Yeah. Is there a balloon character? Well, I could make one. Yes. But I've planned to, like, 
use this chameleon head. Chameleon head, okay, because um, uh, birds and lizards have some common ancestors at some point. Yes. Like the dreaded Bertosaurus rex. Good one. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you already have the TV. Oh, that's good news, Aiden, because I think last week or the week before you were mentioning that it was broken. Chameleon um, arm, chameleon chest, chameleon arms. Now we just need some reptile legs. Reptile legs. Sounds sounds cool. Um, I, uh, I, I, I feel this like work? I should be doing karaoke right now. Reed is here. Hi, Reed. Welcome. Is this the reptile thing? The insect legs? Insect legs? Uh, no. Not as much like a reptile as maybe some other legs. Like this, what about the buggy legs? Buggy legs. I think they may still be in the insect theme. What about these? Whoops. Go down. Yeah, the, one more. Sorry. Oh, now go up. This one right here with that. Is that raptor yeah. legs? Okay, cool. The dinosaur so, legs. That's okay, uh, Aiden. Thank you for uh, for letting us know which one you were uh, were chatting with. But uh, uh, Jeff and uh, I always seem to be here. So so thank you. Oh, I don't know what those are. They look dangerous. Uh, I so know. it's Memorial Day weekend in yep. the United States. Um, and you know what that means. What does that mean? It means that uh, Americans everywhere, everywhere are going to uh, gather around uh, a television and watch the Indy 500 this weekend. The Indy 500. The Indy 500. Let's see. Yeah. Jeff, you are correct. Uh, um, okay. I, I have, for instance, been called... Uh, Tim it looks sometimes. like a Viking themed head. It does look like a Viking themed head. It says grizzly head. Interesting to have enough beard to do three, um, three, uh, three pigtails, pigtails, ponytails. Someone can correct me if I've got the wrong term for what you do when you've got hair in elastics in front. Chest. Um, Big weekend in Indiana, in Indiana, NBA games, WNBA game, Snake. and the 500. Uh, and, of course, big news in the WNBA this week. Uh, Toronto is getting a franchise. Uh, what's your favorite Imaginator you made, Aiden, Aiden asks? My favorite Imaginator I've made? Yes. I think I like... Um, I think the one I... I probably would have to go for um, Night Beetle. Night Beetle. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, do you want me to uh, to mention some of the anniversaries while you're creating? Yes. Or would you rather I wait? Okay. You want me to go? All right. So uh, for our American viewers who are, of course, celebrating uh, and uh, honoring Memorial Day weekend, uh, there's a big anniversary in the United States today. In 1787, 1787, uh, delegates gathered in Philadelphia. People get gathered in Philadelphia for the Constitutional uh, Convention. For the Constitutional Convention, which gave Americans the con the uh, Constitution they have now. So it was like Constitution 2.0 after the uh, the Articles of Confederation. And I gave him claw and this character claws. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, those are very intimidating looking claws. All right, so Night Beetle is the favorite Imaginator you've created. Yeah. What makes Night Beetle special? I think what makes him special is that um, the way I created him mm -hmm. just looked very well designed yes okay and the only reason why i did this was because um it's because i thought having a character as a beetle would be something would be something that i would definitely enjoy mm -hmm. and i would like 
a lot. Cool. Crow is here. Welcome, Crow. Glad you could make it. Ooh. Okay, I have an idea for You have this. an idea? Okay, you're an idea for this Imaginator. This air how about, Imaginator. How about this character be, turns out to be a... So I was going to say... Ooh. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? That looks a little spooky. Kind of does look spooky. Uh, Paul is here. Hello, Paul. Glad you could make it. Uh, Paul is saying hello to us both. Barbier. I'll actually give him... Um, I'll actually give him the, uh, the snake torso. Snake torso? Okay. Still this... lizard or reptile theme? Sorry, reptile theme. So this... Gonna give him the commando arms. Commando arms, ooh, snake commando. And then for the legs, monkey legs. Monkey legs. That's quite a quite a mashup there. It's impressive. And for the tail. Does this look like a monkey tail? It looks like a tiger tail, which of course is a type of ice cream too. I'm not, it's not a type of ice cream I like, but it is a kind of ice cream. What about this? Is this? That looks like a king's, it's called king's tail. It looks like a lion's tail, maybe. Uh, yeah, you're kind of close enough. Okay. So for the weapon. All right, Aiden says your imaginator looks like uh, it's from a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, it kind of yeah. does look like it's from a horror movie. Except it's not. Except it's not, but... Maybe, once you've finished uh, creating, um, it will inspire someone to make a, a horror movie with this as a character. So I'm going to remove all this gear off until it can be put back on. Okay, so for the backpack. Backpack, backpack. Backpack, Did backpack. you really have to do the door the explorer theme? It just it's it's like automatic. I I uh, I, I I should work short harder. wave. Short wave. Yes. That won't work at all. It won't work. Nope. Well, not monkey themed at all. What if you try plugging it in? Nope. No. Not gonna help. It's it. not gonna work if you plug it in. Oh, there's a chaos backpack. I think I decided you decided to on... go with the samurai barrier ooh, ooh that's an interesting one does it have a function i don't think it does function okay i'm gonna look if there's a samurai body samurai all right because i plan to I make this there is check Bird uh... chest troll chest cold chest and genie chest Chest, chest, chest. Fancy, Mary, Tuxedo, Tuxedo, Shinobi. This one looks like a ninja. Buckles and belts. Let me see if there is. Oh, there is. There is a samurai. Excellent. So, uh, so we're no longer working on reptile right it's yeah making this character look like a monkey except he is like in the form except he's like except he looks like this right okay so, so do you monkey... already have a cool name figured out for him oh yeah i actually have plan mm -hmm. i plan to like give him a name right although once this character is done mm -hmm. The name will be created nice. for the character once I've got it. Nice. So, so Aiden says color. he never takes a backpack to school because he doesn't need it. Do you do you take a backpack to school? Um, no, I uh, yes I do. You do okay. And uh, and Aiden's ready for the Minecraft movie next year, um, so which kind of it intrigues me because if it's Minecraft, shouldn't you make it yourself? Okay, I didn't hear anyone groan behind me, so I guess that means that uh, Ace didn't hear that. 
or maybe they're just soundlessly shaking their head and going, oh man, I can't believe you did that. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna make it look all like this and then make it gold. Uh -huh. Nice colors, I like the color. Um, so this is there's Daniel, hey Daniel. Uh, this is accurate. So Ace is yep, playing is. Death Stranding behind us. Ooh, it's almost back. And Daniel's wandering it's around. Right I think maybe, maybe getting a snack. Uh, let's see. Let see uh, there'll be slides on the topic. Um, oh, look at this! Oh, that's cool. I'm making cool. it look like a real, the real deal here. Uh, Reed, I want to update you on the slides. Ace uh, let us know last night that uh, they've managed to edit out two slides. Uh, so the presentation is now 55 and not 57. Uh, I strongly suspect it's because there are 135 bullet points on one slide. So there we go. There we go. Excellent. Eyes are so chest. Uh, Time to make the chest red. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, Aiden is asking if you'll watch the Minecraft movie when it comes out. Uh, yeah. I may w want to watch the Minecraft movie. Uh-huh. I might too. Arms. Okay, arms. Uh, comports to the speed limit that way. 55, well, the old speed limit. Of course, Semi Hagar would not be, uh, would not be, uh, uh, bothered by a 65 slide uh, PowerPoint presentation. What do you think of this idea? Having the armor look like this. That's cool. And then for the legs, they are going to be red. They're going to be oh. red. That's a cool red. I like that red. With a bit of orange. Okay. Tail. All right. And for the tail. Very fashion forward, I think. So for the tail. Yeah, the tail is definitely going to be something. There we go. I'm going to make the tail look like this. Ooh, that's you, pretty cool. For the backpack symbol. There we go. And then this part here can be red. Uh -huh. So what do you think? Right. Looks very cool. Hang. I can hardly wait to see what the name is. Look at this. Nice. I found the samurai helmet. Samurai helmet. Excellent. Well done. Any gear to put on him? Oh, yeah, oh. there is. Okay. Yes, there is. Nice. There is headgear to put on this guy. Fully samurizing him. Yeah, I'm really doing this. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. Doomlander Smasher Guards. And then for the leg guards, uh -huh. I'm going to go with... Ooh, were those more samurai? These? The firefighter no. leg armor? No, no, I was way wrong on that. No, you are entirely wrong. Entirely wrong. 100%. So what do you think? Amazing. What what do folks in the chat think? Do you, uh... So what do you guys think? Uh Read, I, I believe that means, uh, that, that emoji means he's looking cool. Where you got the backpack, shoulder guards, 
Make them red and yellow. Okay. Yellow along here, All right. yellow along here. So while you're continuing, would you like me to give you another anniversary? Yes. All right. I, I'm saving the big one, the really big um, um, history changing anniversary for a little later. Everything, everything changed on a May 25th in history. I'm saving that one for a little bit. But, um, but so right what now... what do you think? What do I think of your new creation? Yes. Very cool. I like the colors. Looks intimidating. Oh, now we get the voice. Oh, uh, hello, MTM Sharko. To... Welcome. Welcome to, uh, to Skylander's Imaginator. Super spectacular Saturday Skylander stream. Okay, so I'm going to call this guy... I'm going to call him... Yes, will be out. It may be. Um, you're going to call him Monkey Man, and I'm going to mention the other anniversary from 1940. On May 25th in 1940? Yep. Uh, the last British and French troops at the Battle of Boulogne surrendered to the Germans. And shortly after that... Uh, the Germans start pushing on to Dunkirk, and the heroic uh, evacuation at, uh, at Dunkirk ensues. Uh, I was just looking for Skylander streamers, so I found you. That's wonderful. I'm glad you found us. Leaving in the catchphrase, the return of my knuckles. The return of my knuckles. Well, that's an interesting one. Um, I think there should be a, a loss poster. Please return my knuckles. Um, do you ever think there will be a PlayStation 20 when Skylanders is 100? I... Whatever PlayStation there is, I bet uh, I will not, uh, sorry, PlayStation 20. So that generation, I am quite sure I won't be, be around to see one at that point. Bless you. Uh, MTM Sharko asks, how are you? How are you, Oliver? Doing good. Excellent. MT, MT Shark. Uh, and how are you, uh, MTM Sharko? Uh, I'm glad you could make it. Um, Hope you're doing well. What's your favorite Skylander game? Oliver, what's your favorite Skylander game? It is... My favorite Skylander game is Trap Team. Trap Team. Makes sense. What makes it your favorite? It's that you can trap the villains. Ah, yes. And many of the villains we get to play in, uh, in Imaginator. Ooh, anti-disestablishmentarianism. That's a great word I haven't heard in a long time. Um, and what's your uh, what's your favorite uh, Imaginators game, uh, MTM Sharko? All right. So because you have uh, we have defeated, um, we are now in chaos. The Mausoleum of Madness. Yes. So because we defeated Chaos, we get extra levels. What like about the you, of Oliver? Do you ever think there will be a PlayStation Twenty once a hundred years? has passed in Skylanders is 100? No! No? Will they need to make a, a, a PlayStation? I don't 20? think there will ever be such thing as a PlayStation 20. Ooh, that's shiny. I don't think we're ever going to get a PlayStation 20 because we've already had a, P a PlayStation 1, a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and... PlayStation 4, and a, recently a PlayStation 5. So no, we're not getting a PlayStation 20. I wonder what it would look like. Sorry, I'm trying to see that. Re retrieve the item. Swap. Okay, so MTM Sharko likes Swap Force. That's a cool one. Um, and the 256 combinations of swappable characters. Okay, let me see. So there is a key. A key. Excellent. So there's a door, which means that there is a door to unlock. Indeedy. What do you, look at those moves. I, the amazing moves. That would be a long time. There we go. You found the door.
And I came up with my very own origin story for Monkey Man. Oh, you did? Oh, my God. Yep. Let's hear it. Monkey Man originated... F- Monkey Man was, uh, was once a human himself, Ooh. just Ooh. like us. But how, he was born in... He was a warrior who came all the way from Japan. Oh, okay. And he worshipped... And he and a bunch of... And he and his family would worship idols back in his time in ancient in the ancient world. Nice. And he was... And one day, he found a... He, he encountered... A, he encountered a god of monkeys... Yep, he encountered the monkey god. Excellent. He asked the gods if he would become the idol of the monkeys, and in 2100 BC, he was granted that wish. 2100 BC? It's like 4,000 years ago. (laughs) Yes, I know. Wow. I know. It's because he originated from the ancient world. That's why. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. And this guy would live to become immortal. And become the monkey man. Monkey, excellent. Um, all right, so I want to go back to a comment from MTM Sharko uh, that the graphics in Swapforce are a little cartoonish. Which graphics do you like the most in, in all of the games, uh, MTM? Uh, and uh, Reed made uh, um, uh, a pun about uh, when he had the key, you were making key moves. And uh, I, I think maybe we need to, uh, to suggest to, uh, uh, to read that he locked that humor away. What's your favorite Skylander? My favorite Skylander is Voodoo. Ooh. Ooh, from which game? Spyro's Adventure. Spyro's Adventure. Oh, so you got all three. Terrific. Another lever just left out here. All right, let's go see if we can find. Whoops! Dang it! I fell in the lava. Uh, yes, yes. Try That's... not to do that. Not gonna lie, Voodoo is underrated, but in a good way. That's cool. And uh, and who's your favorite? All right. So where are those? towers that are going or columns that go up and down i think if we go over here oh and find some coin we have some coins found (laughs) enemies have showed up enemies uh uh-oh but it looks like monkey man is dispatching the villains quickly with his claws he definitely yep Taking those bad guys down with his claws. Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, excellent. Oops. And I fell again. Right, more lava. Uh, Series 3 Terrapin because of his uh, pow wow. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Sorry, wow pow. Uh, Okay, I'll wait. The voodoo that you do so well. Nice read. Um, if we, I think we can. I think we can say that maybe you've been locked out long enough. Oh! Oh! oh I nearly made it. Oh, there we go. There. Whoops! I fell. Now how? Combustion Com- pillars. The combustion pillars. <laughs> I'm going to combustor them. Because you know why? Why is that? It's in their name. It's the combustion name. pillars. I'm going to combustor them and see if I can make it, f- to see if I can make it through at all. At, well, fair. Nice to have a goal. Uh, Aiden suggests you buy a mansion. Buy a mansion. Yes. The, dude, mansions are very expensive. True. Well, can I reach the other side? Maybe you have to jump back on that. Go back to go forward. Go back to go forward. Oh! Close. I'm close. 
Uh, do you still have hope for Skylander 7 or Spyro's Adventure Remaster? I'm hoping for a Sky, either a Skylander 7 or a Spyro's Adventure Remaster. Oh. I'm hoping for both, actually. I was going to ask. It sounds like you might want both. All right, so, oh, okay. dang it. so maybe you need to, oh, wait a minute. This might be helpful if you can get up on that other one. There we go. Okay. And if I reached over here, yep. jump, jump, jump. Yeah, so jump over to where the coins are. Well, <laughs> or fall in the lava. That's also a choice. <laughs> I don't want to fall in the lava. I want to avoid the lava. I, I think that's probably a wise thing to avoid the lava. Dang it, stop falling in the lava. Well, it is gravity, right? Yeah, it is gravity, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. who knows if it really is lava. Well, it, they've certainly made it look like lava. It doesn't look like any any river I've ever seen. Oh, there we go. There we go. So let's try jumping from that tallest pillar over to... This one? No, I was thinking the one to the right over here. As I point to the TV, ah! oops, didn't work. Okay. It didn't work. All right. It so what did if you continue not... over? Yes. Okay. So climb back up there. Yep. Yep. Keep doing that, and then get onto this lower one. Yep. Maybe not. Okay. So come over to this. Yeah, that one. Let's see if that gives you some height to jump onto that other one yes there. it does give me Yay! some height i think oliver could invi invent the uh, playstation 20 there you go i don't think i'll ever be a the wow inventor of the playstation 20 i don't know where these bridges came from like out of nowhere which last night jeff was playing king kong again and there were rickety bridges all over the place on Skull Island. And um, so I think uh, he was wondering where they, uh, they came from, too. Ooh, a treasure. Treasure chest. Nice. Nice. So is there anything over on the other side? Oh. Ah. Oh. Ooh, okay. I don't know why I keep going to the other side, but... It ah, could be. Okay. Oh, you didn't end up in lava that time. That's good. Good to know. I'm going to go to right, this side. Ooh. Oh. No. No. I think you. Oh. No. Oh, no. my goodness. Lava, lava everywhere. Not a drop lava, to drink. Lava, lava, lava everywhere. All right. All right. So maybe you need to jump up on that jump pad back behind you. That jump pad. That jump pad to get you yeah. up. I don't think it may me make it. Okay, what if you run toward that gap again? This gap? Ooh, yes. Ooh, what's up there? There's more up there. Yeah, there is more up there. Wow, this is cool. More moving platforms. More moving platforms. Oliver, I don't want to Google you. No, I think I think Aiden's saying you are Google to uh, to him because uh, you know so much. <laughs> okay, so okay. did you need to get that little statue? That was the the goal of this level, right? Yeah, it's to get that statue. Retrieve the item. Oh, Reed says he had a lava lob, a lava clump. Lava lamp once, and uh, did it leave a did it burn a hole in your your table, Reed? Oh, more treasure! Ooh, Archean fists! Terrific! And if you want to know. What monkey idol this is? I saw a cursed Shrek All Star song. I don't even know what that what is. What the heck? That that's a good reaction. <laughs> what the heck? How is this cursed? Like I don't uh, understand it. 
Okay, so MTM Sharko writes, One thing that annoys me in Imaginators is that I have to search around in the hub world for the level I want to play, and I can't open up the menu to find them in order. I agree. That is a frustration. It's a Curse Shrek song by the person who made All Star, except they sing it really slow. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so you have now put on uh, a fire element. Yep. Uh, Imaginator that you're going to um, to create. Yep. A new one. Human eyes. Some wild facial hair there. Now for the chest. Let me see what I can find for the chest. Does this does this look good? What, barbarian body. Okay. Cool. Do you think that goes with the uh, with the beard? Yeah, the barbarian body might work with the, well with the beard. Okay. And so will the uh, barbarian, barbarian arms. arms. Nice, nice. Uh, Aiden has a teacher who has a bunch of spiders. And so as will pets. the barbarian legs. So what kind of spiders, uh, Aiden? Are they like tarantulas or large spiders like that? Should have made this guy. Should have made this guy an earth element. Oh. Okay. But, you know... Do you want to swap out? Uh, no. No? Okay. It, I do like the idea of him being a fire element. Uh -huh. It's just... Caveman would be more of an earth element. Right. Due to the fact they make things from stone. Uh -huh. So how about I instead... Uh -huh. Make this character from a... Um, how about, would you like it if I made this character as a firefighter? Firefighter, ooh. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. And then, will you call the new character Firefighter? Yeah, I could. Okay. It's a Gas mask. Ooh, gas masked could work. Mm -hmm. Masquerade head. Uh, also, will we be alive in the year 3030, Oliver? I think that's a far time from now. I, I don't think I may be around for long enough. Right, it's a, over a thousand years from now, right? Yeah, it's over like a thousand years from now. So that would be impossible. Okay, I have an idea. What's your idea? So how about I get... Ooh, make this... that's a creepy one. That green one with just teeth and no eyes... Oh, what? I was thinking you you were gonna stick with the one they call flat top head, but looked an awful lot like Frankenstein. Least favorite Skylander and why? Ooh. Um, I usually don't have least favorite Skylanders. I mean, they're like all awesome, but I'm gonna have to, but. Uh -huh. the, the the Skylander I don't like that much at all is I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to say I don't like that let me see I think I don't like that I think oh hello fuzzy toes welcome let me see I don't like um you know when it comes to least favorite character Skylander, I'm going to have to say, I am absolutely sorry, MT, M, M, T, M, Sharko, but Terra, it's actually Terrafin. Oh, interesting. Which, which Terrafin? I'm going to, I like, I do like series, I like series one, I like series one and two Terrafin. But I don't like Series 3. Uh-oh. 
well then. Uh, but we all have our favorites, right? Uh, right. Yeah, and uh, and some of them we like more than others. Uh, what about you, MTM Sharko? Uh, do you have a least favorite, or are they all like, I have this top tier of the best, and then everything else is kind of together in a group? Okay, so yep. I'm going to remove the gear. Yeah, okay. Start afresh. Bye, baby. Yeah. yeah. Probably put some, like... Barbarian oh, stuff on him. Barbarian stuff, okay. I don't really, I don't really have many of these faves. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know that I could come up with a, a, a least fave. Uh, there are some that I don't play with very much, but um, um, uh, I don't know that it's because I don't like them, but just there are some that I play with all the time that I like the most. Okay, so. All right, so here we go. Or the... So now onto the color. Okay. Head. I'm gonna leave the head the same. Oh yeah. Okay. So MTM Sharko likes uh, Series Three Terrapin because uh, his claws remind him of Wolverine. And yeah, I like Wolverine. Well, yeah. So that's. Does that change your mind a little bit about Series Three Terrapin? Yeah. Okay. It actually kind of does. Right. And Aiden uh, wants to, uh, Aiden thinks it would be fun if we all met. Ears say same chest. It's a very unusual hair color. Yeah, I know. Mm hmm. I know it's a very unusual hair color, mm -hmm. but it's how this character's being made. Right. No, understood. Understood. I wasn't suggesting you change it. Um, so it's raining where you are. It rained here much of the day today, but now it's uh, it's sunny here, Aiden. There we go. Back to chest. Back to not chest. Ears. Ears. We were going back to ears. Can you give them ears that stick way out? Nope. nope. Just regular. The only thing I can give him is regular human ears. Regular human ears. Okay. Because you know why? Why is that? He's human. Oh, makes sense. Okay. Flawless logic. We'll make it look like that. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, MDM Sherko asks, uh, your opinion about uh, Supercharger Terrafin? And I like Supercharger Terrafin. And Eon's Elite Terrafin. I have no opinion on Eon's Elite Terrafin. Have you played with Eon's Elite Terrafin? No! No, I, don't, I didn't think so. Uh, and Terrafin's vehicle in Superchargers is? Mm -hmm. What do you think of this idea for a hat? Oh, very cool. Seems like... Um, uh, um, Give me a... Seems like uh, a skull would, uh, would be a cool hat to have. Um, so what is uh, Terrafin's vehicle in Superchargers? Do you remember? I think his vehicle in Superchargers is the Shark Tank. Shark. Makes sense. What if Skylanders was called Pylanders? Oh. Pylanders? <laughs> okay. And I would not imagine that. Right. MTM Sharko uh, also uh, thinks that uh, Terrapin's vehicle is Shark Tank. Uh, Pylanders. Oh my gosh, what, what powers would <laughs> Pylanders have? I don't even know, to be perfectly honest. Throwing supersonic tarts? <laughs> Covering someone in, uh, in apple pie filling? What the? Uh, right? Whose idea was that? Well, Aiden's suggesting Pylanders right now. I don't want to know 
I don't think I want the idea of pie landers. Oh my gosh. So pumpkin. That could be that could be a character name. Okay, that could but work. Maybe maybe it would be changed a little bit to like pun punk in. Okay. I'm just throwing an idea out here. It's not a very good one, but well, it's I'm all I got to, to work with. So now I'm going to give the character oh oh Bless you, Daniel. Patty Bummel Blummers. All right, so my, all right, we can we can work on more ideas about Pylanders. I need to, I'm just that gonna leave for a sec. Yep, I still do have the same powers. Okay. Same powers. Okay, let me see. So next. You want to know what's next? What's that? The next bit for this character uh -huh. is to have the head, is to do the arm, is to color in the armor. Color in the armor, okay. Yes. All right. What do you think of the idea? Of gray? Yeah. Why not? What? <laughs> Whose idea was this? Are you asking about Pylanders? Whose idea was Pylanders? You, Aiden. You were the one who came up with this idea of Pylanders. Just me, but I like using older Skylanders in the newer games. What do you think about that, Oliver? Using, say, some giants in superchargers or in um, in um, trap team, or they would look pretty small uh -huh. since over time the characters from the games have shrunken over the years. You don't often play with the older characters. You like to keep the characters in the game that they're with, right? Yeah. 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 I'm going to call him... Craven Ooh, Hunter. Ooh, a little, uh, <laughs> little hat tip there to uh, the, uh, the next um, uh, Sony... Uh, Spider-Man movie? Is that the next one? Yeah. I'm Crylanders where they cry. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the worst game ever. But what if their tears had special powers? Uh, I don't want to imagine that. No, uh MTM Shurgle, what um what uh characters or what um series characters do you like to play in um, newer, newer games. Fueled by the unknown. Fueled by... How about Fueled by Fire? Well, that made make sense because he's a, a, a fire element. Or I could say be afraid of fire. Be afraid of life. That's a little dire. That's, that's kind of bleak. It's because he was Cry once Landers a caveman from a prehistoric ever. time. Jeff doesn't like water games. But he's, he's been on a bit of a run, uh, Reed. So uh, even that, I, I don't want to uh, confuse him for Crate. I just put in Craven Hunter because I don't want to confuse him with the actual character known as Craven the Hunter. Right. Understood. Understood. Uh, so so Reed just been doing well in King Kong with all of the the water in that. Look how sometimes the things in the water are not quite nice to him, and and he's been playing what Ship of Sea. Powers of Fire. Ooh, nice. I wouldn't want to do that, though, uh, you know, during a, um, a forest fire season. That would be bad. But it'd be great for marshmallows. You know, just run and, uh, 
And then you've got uh, Marshall. It's time it. for a battle arena. Battle arena time. Can I do the voice? Yes. Battle arena with Craven Hunter. Good one. I like that. That was kind of like a pirate R at the end. Did you like that? Yes. Okay. Uh, what's the what's the hardest Skylander to use? That's the next question from MTM Sharko. Uh. I'm gonna say the hardest Skylander to use is um. Some of the ones that are like I think, I think. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, Tree Rex is a difficult one to use. Mm. Due to the fact he just smashes to the ground, and the only way to, like, hit the enemies is to fight, is, is to get close to them. Mm. Right, so the, uh, so the, the melee fighters, um, are a bit of a challenge. Uh, and also, what's the easier to use? I guess there were witches and crylands. I think the easiest one to use is Chop Chop. Chop Chop, ooh, okay. Since right. I'm very good with swords. Ooh, okay. All right. That would make sense. And do you have a preference for which Chop Chop? I think the one, I think the one from Series 2. Okay, all right. Solid choice. Um, we don't have, uh, Eon's Elite Chop Chop, do we? No, we do not. Okay. No Eon's Elite Chop Chop. All right. You're doing well with Craven Hunter here. And don't worry, I will, re when I get another Earth, uh, cre when we get another Earth Creation Crystal, he'll be made into an Earth Element. All right, so Aiden's question. Because you know why? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Because Craven Hunter is more of a caveman character. Mm -hmm. um, so Aiden asks about Sky Pandas, and I want to change that to Sky Pandas. I don't want that. You don't want Sky Pandas? No, I don't want Sky Pandas. Uh, let's see. Uh, so um, the one that's tough to use for MPM Sharko, Gilgrunt. Uh, only one good attack with harpoon and water hose does little damage, and water jetpack is okay for mobility. Hey, yeah, MTM Sharko, what do you think is the easiest Skylander to use? Sky Panders. Wait no minute. Sky Panders. Wait a minute, they could be characters who use Skype all the time instead of Zoom to communicate. Get rid of that big cactus. Right? Big walking, rolling cactus. Goodbye, enemies. Well, it's nice that you're, you're being polite when you're sending them off. Also, those are giant bugs. I'm not sure that I've really... You know. they're, they're just bugs. Right, but they're about, what, half his size? A third his look size? Look at those guys. Those sheep look like Wolverine. Countdown. You just, um... Those sheep have Wolverine claws as well. Look at them. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, MTM Sharko is uh, saying Countdown probably uh, easier to use. Countdown is a cool one. Um, uh, let's see. Bow wow to them. <laughs> uh, Reed, I think, uh, I think the answer is no. Skylanders are not on uh, Blue Sky because, uh, well, Blue Sky is newer than, than, than the last Skylander game. I, 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 I think they could be mascots for Blue Sky. Get out. Get out. I'm saying that to the rat in yes. the trash can. I thought you probably were. Are, Are you Sky Stones on Blue uh... Yeah, they could be on Blue Sky. I see the Skylanders more as uh, you know, uh, uh, Instagram myself. Oh, Spell Punks. Get those Spell Punks out of here. 
And chompies. Yes, especially the chompies. Especially the chompies. Um, oh. More spell punks. More spell punks. Different, different colored costumes this time. Round three. Wow. And do you have, uh, do you have, uh, no, you don't have, didn't have any food that time, but you're halfway to, uh, leveling this... up to level 34. What's the most fun Skylander in your opinion? The most fun Skylander in my opinion yes. is, um... The most fun Skylander to play as is... I'm going to say it's Magna Charge. Ooh, Magna Charge. Nice. Nice. And what makes Magna Charge so much fun? I like using... It's just be, I like the attacks he has. Right. I also like that he can attract any... That he can attract bad guys and with his magnetic powers. Ooh, nice. Yes. So, um... Which Skylander uh, has your favorite um, catchphrase? My favorite Skylander with Rye acts first, questions later. Mm -hmm. The answer's voodoo. Nice. My favorite Skylander's catchphrase is acts first, questions later. Um. MTM Sharko, uh, Washbuckler is the most fun to play with. I think that's, uh, we're still on that question. And what's your favorite catchphrase? Your favorite Skylander catchphrase? I have a different answer for, uh, for, um, catchphrase. What's that? What's you know, mine? I, yeah. He shoots, he spores! <laughs> Even Daniel's laughing at that one. Uh, sky Napers. Sky Napers? Sky Nappers? What is their superhero to, their superpower to sleep? Okay, are you going to get to level 35 here? I hope I am. Looks like you are. Nice. I almost got every single enemy down. Hail to the whale, thump back. Nice. Uh, I would say uh, that's my second favorite uh, catchphrase, but that's my favorite uh, Skylander. Even more. Oh my goodness. Sky tenders. Like chicken tenders? Sky tenders? I'm sure I'd want to eat uh, um, Skylanders. Oh! Okay, alright. But you may get to level up before. Whoop! Victory. Never mind. Nice, you leveled up. Perfect. I have achieved victory. Skycrackers. No, not Skycrackers. Skycrackers. The Skylanders would be crackers. Right, Everyone they, would literally be crackers. But they could be crackers in the shape of Skylanders. Okay, okay you do make a good point. All right. Now, it looks like, uh, what, we're getting close to 8 o'clock. So do you think after uh, after the battle arena, it'd be time to uh, to wrap things up and talk about one of the most important days in all of human history? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, what Skylander do you want to have a light core figure in? <laughs> the Skylander I want to have a a light core figure of. Yeah. Probably. I probably want a light core figure of Trigger Happy. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, and what would light up on Trigger Happy? Would it be the, the, the guns? Yeah, the guns might light. Mm -hmm. I think his, I think the guns and, I think his tongue might light up. Ooh, it's, okay, all right. All right, so on, like, that's a huge tongue on the uh, powder blue. Um... Uh, trigger happy from uh, from superchargers. That would be enormous. Um, 
Okay, so you want to talk about the last yep. anniversary today that we're going to yes. talk about? All right, so when you think of big moments in history, what what are you looking for? Are you looking for something that changes everything on that day and everything that comes after? People go, wow, I wish I'd been there or I remember where I was. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. So I think you're going to like this anniversary. Yes. Yes. On this day in 1977, everything changed when the original Star Wars came out. Yeah, when the original Star Wars came out in 1977. Yeah. What happened then? Well, people lined up around the block. I I personally saw the film probably 20 times over the next year. And then everyone after that wanted to make a new Star Wars. It's like one of the most pivotal moments in history, right up there that, with the uh, fall of the Roman Empire. And it's also very well known because George Lucas mm -hmm. create, created Star Wars. Yes, yes, he did. I Yes, when it was called Star Wars, right, Anne? Before any of us called it A New Hope or Episode Four. Um, and there were ads in the newspaper saying, held over for one year. And so it stayed in theaters for over a year. Wow. Right? So Such a long time. Big, momentous time in history. You know, the fall of the Roman Empire, Neil Armstrong landing on the moon, Star Wars. Boom. All big moments. Big moment, like Neil Armstrong landing on the moon, yeah. Star Wars being released, and include even the fall of the Roman Empire. Big moments, big, big moments in history. I, I may be being a little over the top and hyperbolic with, with my praise for how important Star Wars was. I see. I see, okay. Um, and for May the 4th Day, we played... Um, um, uh, one of the Star Wars levels from Disney Infinity. Right. Right. Cool. So in two weeks, what are we going to play again? In two weeks, Supercharger. Supercharger. So we could play with the new Power Blue Trigger Happy and Which I'm hoping Power Blue Gold Rush. And if we have time. Right. In the mystery character. In, in the, the mystery character in the box that's been there for two months until we could play Sky or Superchargers again. Exciting times in two weeks. 